Good evening, everyone, and happy finals week. You've all done a great job. I know it doesn't matter coming from me, but I'm proud of y'all. Now, for my final speech, what I wanted to talk about may seem a little trivial, not very important, not very relevant, but I promise that it is. Now, what I wanted to talk about is actually related to uh, my current situation. Now, I doubt you would know, but I'm actually in quarantine right now for COVID, and this is my best filming spot that I could find. And while I've been in here, uh, coughing and slowly getting better, um, a film series has resurfaced in my life, and I wanted to share my thoughts on it and why I think it is relevant for everyone in our current day and age. And that's Star Wars, actually. And you may be asking, he's doing Star Wars for his final speech? Yes, I am. Now, ever since I was a kid, and I'm sure many of you watching have experienced this, your parents sit you down, they say, hey, we want to show you these movies from when we were young. The lights dim out, and that famous text appears on the screen a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And suddenly the music swells, and you're entranced. And you're lost in this magical world of space wizards, the Empire, princesses, in a story where the good guys win in the end and evil is vanquished. And of course, we don't live in that world. We can't travel at light speed. We can't move objects with our mind, but we can look at it from perspective of metaphor. And a metaphor that extends throughout all nine films. Now, the creator himself, George Lucas, described Star Wars as a story about parents and children. It's a story about generations and problems moving from one generation to the next. And nothing ever truly resolving itself. Problems always persist to the next generation. And it's also a story about how democracy can crumble, how we can give way to uh, give way to autocrats and to dictators, how power can be concentrated into the hands of the few, and in that way we truly lose our republic, our democracy. We see this now. We see problems that have cross generations and still haven't been solved. Climate change, racial injustice, economic inequality, all these problems have persisted for generations. And we can see it now, our democracy crumbling, giving power to uh, oligarchy in the hands of big businesses, um, military structures growing too big and too powerful and seizing power and influencing politicians to take away our rights for their own benefit. Now, for those of you who haven't watched them, you may be hearing what I'm saying and uh, thinking that I'm just taking too much away from these kids' movies, but these movies were made with political intent. Art is inherently a political form. And this has meant more to me than just a political metaphor. It has been a light in very dark times in my life. I've always been able to turn to Star Wars as a means to be whisked away from my own current situation and transported into a world of magic and fantasy. And I implore you, if you haven't seen them, to give them a watch and see what you think. And if you have seen them, give them a rewatch because I promise that these are more relevant than they've ever been. Thank you. Had a great time. And I learned a lot.